ForeFlight now offers an enhanced flight planning workflow thanks to improvements to aircraft, the Maps View Flight Plan Editor, and the File and Brief View, which is now called Flights. This video is for ForeFlight customers with subscription plans other than Performance Plus, including the original plans and the Basic Plus and Pro Plus plans. If you have the Performance Plus plan or want to see what is different with that plan, check out our performance video series. We'll start by looking at the new workflow for setting up an aircraft, which is essential if you want to take full advantage of ForeFlight's planning capabilities. Go to More, Aircraft to see a list of your current aircraft, and tap the plus button to create a new one. Enter a tail number, then tap Aircraft Type to search for your aircraft by make, model, or type code. Tap on an aircraft type to select it. Certain aircraft types come with pre-filled values for glide performance, altitudes, and fuel. If your aircraft selection doesn't include this data, refer to your POH to find the correct values. Tap Performance Profiles and add Custom Performance Profile to enter the performance values for your aircraft. Only the values for cruise, true airspeed, and fuel per hour are required, but entering values for climb and descent will improve performance calculations. You can create one performance profile to use for every flight, or create multiple ones corresponding to different power settings. Finally, return to the Aircraft Edit page to enter the filing information for your aircraft. You can find information about each of these fields in the Filing with ForeFlight Mobile guide. Scroll to the bottom and tap Make Default to set the aircraft as the default for flight planning. With your new aircraft set up, go to the Maps view to plan a flight. Construct your route as you normally would. and select a departure time using the ETD button in the bottom right of the Flight Plan Editor. Then tap the Aircraft button in the top left and select your new aircraft. Tap on the button below that to select a performance profile for the flight. If you only created one performance profile for the aircraft, it will be selected by default. ForeFlight will now begin calculating the performance results for the flight and display them along the bottom of the Flight Plan Editor. You can further refine your planning by opening Altitude Advisor in the bottom left and selecting your preferred cruise altitude for the flight, and by tapping Routes on the right to open Route Advisor. This includes routes recently cleared by ATC, with additional information showing the departure time of the most recent flight cleared for that route which will often be in the future for frequently filed routes, the number of times that route has been cleared by ATC in the past year, the type of aircraft and altitude range for which the route was cleared, and estimated performance calculations for that route, including time, distance, and fuel burn. Any preferred and airway routes are also listed, along with performance calculations. Once you're satisfied with the route, tap Send To in the bottom right of the Flight Plan Editor and tap Flights to send the route to the Flights View. The Flights View integrates many flight planning tools from the Maps View in a sleek, form-based layout, allowing you to finalize routes built in the Maps View, or build routes from scratch if you prefer planning with a form rather than the map. The Send To button in the top right allows you to send a route back to the Maps view. The Flights view also allows you to specify an alternate airport for the flight. Tap Navlog in the top left to view a detailed summary of your flight, including values for fuel, weight, and time, and tables showing performance calculations for each leg. You can refresh the navlog with updated wind forecasts by tapping the refresh button in the bottom left. 
and you can print or email the Navlog using the Send To button in the top right. To get a weather briefing for the flight, tap Briefing at the top of the flight's view. By default, this will retrieve for flight's graphical briefing, presenting weather and NOTAM information in an easy-to-understand plain text layout. You can refresh an old briefing with new data using the Refresh button in the bottom left. If you want to receive a traditional text briefing instead, you can disable ForeFlight Briefing in More Settings. Finally, when you're ready to file your flight plan, tap Proceed to File at the bottom of the Flights view. The details from your flight plan are automatically copied over to the filing form. After filing, buttons will appear along the bottom of the screen to cancel or amend an IFR flight plan and activate a VFR flight plan. If you enabled flight notifications before filing, important weather, TFR, and airport-related flight alerts will appear in the Messages tab at the top of the planning form. ForeFlight will begin searching for and displaying these alerts two hours before your estimated time of departure. These changes and enhancements to ForeFlight are designed to boost the speed and efficiency of your flight planning, briefing, and filing workflow. If you're interested in learning about ForeFlight's more advanced performance capabilities, check out our video series on ForeFlight performance, or visit foreflight.com performance.